Hello YouTube, today at PowerJack Repair we got a Lenovo laptop and this is the E570 ThinkPad That's the problem So hopefully we can fix it This goes to the right, this goes to the left, this is slides out like that. All right, so so far, all of the screws are the same. You basically unscrew one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. So the hard drive you move that way. And like that.
You don't need to unscrew this screw. All right, so the left hinge is obviously broken. I can feel it. All right, so here. All right, so on top you only had two screws right here. This cable, that cable, this cable, and this cable. Hopefully there is no screws under this cable. Nope, there is no screws here. And we can pretty much take... By the way, the keyboard to disconnect by flapping those guys upwards. There's the two hinges. I'll leave them down so they wouldn't get broken. And this one too. And that one. And because the hinge is already broken, it's much easier. much easier to separate the shell. All you do is you put the guitar pick in and you just separate it like that. So that's how you take the top off. Here you inspect that the speaker is something wobbly right here. But everything looks relatively good. I'm gonna make sure that there is nothing flying around. And here we got the the problem is right here basically. So we got the hinge that came out with the uh, with everything in it, so you see right here. Uh, and that's what damaged the board. We don't have the board like that, but I'm sure we could find a jack uh, similar to this. And I hope that this cable just separates. Let's see, this is a sticker. Like that. Remove the cable from this side. Okay. 
Come on. Is it glued in? No, it should be separatable. Yep. So now we separated that and you should understand that this whole thing should be sitting there somehow. So the thing to do here is see if we can remove all of that none none very well mounted. Okay, I need to put the glasses on. Alright, so here. All of the plastic that's loose you need to remove it because it's only gonna that's not loose. That's not loose either. Everything looks good now. Here we're gonna have uh, this guy like that, right? So we need to remove uh, this this bolt and nut like that. Okay. Like that. And I'm probably not gonna put it back in because because nothing really gonna hold it that well in here. Let me just double check. So it goes upward like that. And does it go? It should be going like that. I wonder something isn't right here. Hold on. So, alright. It doesn't fit in there. Hmm. No, it doesn't want to sit properly anywhere here because that black piece right there is broken the one right here and let's see maybe because this thing is pushing in it's like doing body work on the car hold on one second okay I quite honestly don't see how this is gonna sit in there. Well, no, I see it sits in there. Well, no, hold on. Let me see if this is gonna sit in there first. Okay, so it's gonna be like that, obviously. All right. So how did this thing end up under the hinge? I'm not sure. So, like that, right? Like that? Or not like that. Mm. Yeah, like that, and the thing is nothing aligning. Anyways, uh, the jack is broken, as you can see. It's obviously broken, but you could see it all over the place. So, uh, so the whole repair is going to be in a couple of steps. One is, I need to make sure the hinge is going to be oh and the second hinge is also broken by the way the second hinge is right there as you can see it's also broken off and we need to stabilize the hinges right and uh, after we stabilize the hinges we need to work on okay so the hinges need to be perfectly at 90 degree angle I wonder if I need to leave the nuts in there in order for everything to kick in together I probably should because they're gonna grab onto the other glue which I'm gonna put all over the place okay so I need to make sure that the alignment is perfect I need the left hinge to be aligned with the right hinge like that the problem is this one is rocking another one is rocking too alright so here and here 
Now let's uh, see if we can find something like that. All right, so I did find a jack like the one right here. The only thing is I only have this one and one more left uh, in terms of that. So in case you decide to send this type of laptop to us for repair, make sure to text us or email us that you're sending it to us so I would be able to find the similar connector someplace online. Yeah, this is identical. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I will insulate this area right here with the captain tape. And the captain tape... <coughs> I apologize. Um, yeah, so the captain tape should keep the... Um, should keep the nearby component, which is this light right here and this uh, connection right there from uh, being overheated and you got also few components right here on the bottom so the captain tape looks something like that so what I'm doing is this is small board so it's gonna take a lot of heat okay so take that out like that I expect every laptop like that to have a problem because of the hinges so if you have a problem, it's probably because your hinges are broken, just like... It's always the same problem for most of the models there are. If something was a design flaw, it's gonna hunt you down for... for many... many years. Alright, so we insulated it like that. And we want to insulate this guy here, like that, and like that. So once you got captain tape all around, that prevents me from damaging, from overheating the components on the motherboard and reduces the workload overall because then you have to kind of fix everything. What I'm gonna do next, I will add a little bit more flux. I will add more solder, fresh solder. The new solder is going to mix with the old solder. And then under the hot air station, I will be able to uh, drop the whole connection down. Now to prevent the plastic melting smell, I also wanna put a little bit of Captain tape on top of the plastic simply because when this thing is melting it smells really bad and it's no good basically you get to inhale coronavirus all the time so here remove that like that and that way the plastic uh, not gonna melt as much when i'm putting the hot air on top of it let's remove this cut and tape from the metal all right so let's switch to the uh, to the soldering chamber. So this is flux.
Alrighty, so the jack came out just fine.
the most important thing here is to is to solder it the right way all right so you need to make sure that it's uh, sitting the right way All right, so the reason I cut the, the um, 
the rear pins right there so that it would be a lot more flush against the against the the hinge so this seems to be all right now the jack is fine brand new jack and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna fix this uh, hinges here and right there and basically hopefully once we fix the hinges we would be able to put this connection back on top right here and I hope I hope I know which way this thing goes like that all right so right now I want to set this cable outside and let's see if we can do something about the hinges all right so this needs to be okay so the good thing there is a still a rocker right there available right right here this black piece right there means the hinge is going to be aligned and that piece right there shows that the hinge is going to be aligned so that's a good thing we can align this side and we can align that side Alright, so I just hold the, the screen like that in order to for hinges to dry off from the hot glue. Like that. And like that. Alrighty, so the glue isn't dry all, all the way, but uh, the client is waiting outside, so we need to make sure to get it done ASAP. We do accept work by mail, most of the work is coming by mail by the way. So. So let's connect this guy in here. Like that. And like that. And like that. Alright. And what I wanna do is I also wanna put some tape right here on the bottom just to make sure the positives are not gonna touch this metal right there all right okay good job and now we need to tag this cable Now we need to tuck this cable under, under because there is a speaker on top that's probably going to be in the way. So hopefully, uh, hopefully, and it's not fitting in. So let's try and 
All right, so it's hard to say if that's the right way. Oh, okay. So we got some extra glue right here. Some glue right there. All right, so now that we cleaned all the glue from here too. Yep. So uh, the goal is to install it straight up so that the screw from the from the bottom would be going through. Anyways, as you can see there is no real connection happening. And now I start to wonder if the hinge, no, I mean, it should definitely be on the top. There is no way this could be on the bottom. No way. This has to be on the top. And we can't really align it with the hole. Nope. Why? I'm not sure. Maybe the hinge wasn't deep enough there. It should be. No, I mean, I, I saw right away that something wasn't aligning properly here. But I didn't really... Well, that's not really a problem. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna shave it off of there. I'll let the hinges rest a little bit. Okay. Now, I mean, if your hinges are right, I mean, if your hinges are just fine, you wouldn't have to deal with all of this stuff that I have to do right now. You would simply install it and it should be golden. good 
and let's make sure no stuff left on the inside let's try and see now yep we got a perfect fitment right here like that where is my plug okay, here is my plug so we got a perfect fitment the holes align the bottom seats on that lever right there and we got this problem right here where basically it sticks out a lot okay like that okay now we don't have that problem okay good job all right so what we're gonna do next is we will put cable tuck the, tuck the cables in and we will add glue this whole thing in place
Alrighty, so after some trimming of the glue here, right here there should be a speaker coming down right here. I'm gonna make sure the cables for the wireless are out of the way because they're probably gonna be in the way because the hinge was damaged before. And, and you don't want those wireless cables to be in the way because the speaker gonna be right on top of them. Let's get something that's not gonna damage the cables. Okay. Wonderful, good job. So you need to leave enough space right here for the speaker on the right side and enough space right here for the speaker for the left side. And this needs to be cleaned right here because uh, that's where the screw on the bottom gonna go in. So let's put it back together. All right, so this is good. Uh, open this guys up, open those guys up and this guy up. All right, so let's put this whole thing. Obviously this thing gonna stick out because of the extra glue. Um, so here, everything else gonna drop in place just fine. All right. Okay, and I hope let's not, uh, let's not close the uh, close the the screen just yet. I want to make sure. Where is my favorite screwdriver? I want to make sure that we can we can screw everything down here. And everything will remain closed. And I mean, I want to try and see if I can open the screen or close the screen. And in Houston, we have a problem right here, I think. Yeah. And that problem shouldn't be there. Doing it just fine. All right, a little bit more torque. And let's see if we can close it down right here. Now, the worst case, you could sandwich it all together by uh, putting the hot glue uh, before you're gonna put the top cover on. But in this case, everything seems to be fine. Screws are fitting tight, and now we're gonna open up and close the screen a few times and see if the screen aligns. All right, and here we're gonna put one more screw just to make sure everything's gonna be fine. All right, let's see. All right, so here uh, we got all right, so the screen closes. Screen opens, screen closes, and screen opens. So we're good to go. If the client gonna be careful enough this time around, it's gonna hold forever and ever. Here we got two screws right here, one and two. All right, one right here. up here all right so here we need to connect this guy it's at an angle because we already moved it upwards so what you want to do is you slide it in and then close it down and close it down and slide it in And close it down and make sure that this cable is all the way in. Okay, let's connect the keyboard. Mm -hmm. 
All right, let's just load this game. Like that, close it down like that. Um, like that. And close it down like that. Nope. Didn't work out quite as I expected it. Let's See what's the problem. All right, like that. Let's close it down. Let's close it down. Okay. Good job. So the white line should be right where the hinge is at. So you should see half of the white line when it's all wiped down. Here, we slide this guy like that, and then we slide it this way. Like that, like that, like that, and like that. Okay. Good. Alrighty. So on this end, what we want to do is there's a lot of dirt from me uh, for trimming down the. Uh, trimming down the hole, the inlet for the jack. Alright, let's see the cedar I'm gonna go in, and the cedar on did go in. Alright, uh, here we have one more. Um, let's connect the battery right here, right now. The CMOS battery, connect the CMOS battery. So, uh, technically you didn't need to disconnect it. So, I'm sorry if that uh, um, I wasted your time on disconnecting the wireless cable and the and the CMOS battery. You don't have to touch it. So here we want to connect the... the Okay. Okay. All right. So here, like that, and like that. So we get right here, and all we have are just the screws all around. All right. And here, like that, like that, and like that. Good job. Double check if I connected everything on this side because all right, okay, this is connected, that's connected, that's connected, all good. Let's see. Now the moment of truth. The problem is I don't have this power supply, and the client didn't bring the power supply with the laptop. That's not from this. Oh, that's from this laptop, yeah, but. It's not very clear. Let's clean up. Alrighty. So that's all clean. Let me find the power supply. Again, we are at powerjackrepair.net. If you like the video, please leave a like. Alrighty, so I had to create my own power supply. Here it took me 
20 minutes or so because when clients don't drink their power supplies uh, that's never a good thing so let's see if we can make it work the battery is right here as the power let's see we should get something on the screen And we get nothing on the screen as of yet. Oh, right there. Alrighty, so the system is working. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and leave a like. Thank you so much. Have a good day.